What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add an admin area for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at adding an admin area, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. So if somebody asked me the other day, how do we create an admin area or areas of pages that only admins can see and access? And with Flask, it's a little bit interesting. Now Django comes built with an administrative area, a super user feature, all that good stuff sort of built in, but Flask really doesn't have that right out of the box. Now we can build it out in lots of different ways, and that's what we're gonna to start to look at in this video. So in this video, we're just gonna create a little admin area page Nothing really on there for now. We might build it out later, but I mostly want to show you how to restrict access to that page or any page based on an admin user or any certain user. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this class series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So right off the bat, let's just create an admin page the same way we always do. Go to our templates right click new file and let's go file save as and let's just call this admin.html and I'm just going to open any page here and just sort of copy some of this code here bring it back over there and let's see let's sort of get rid of this and let's just go what h2 admin area and you know do some admin e type things here whatever. And let's just go ahead and save this. So let's head over to our hello.py file. And I'm just going to search for index. And let's just sort of copy our index thing here, because this is basically just a basic page. Instead of typing all that code, we'll do it like that. So let's create admin page, paste that in. Now for our route, I want it to point to a slash admin. We want this to be admin. And we don't need any of this stuff or any of this stuff. And we want to point this to admin.html. And we don't need any of this stuff. So, okay. Strictly speaking, that should work. So let's go ahead and save this. Now let's add this link to our nav bar if we want. And we might want to hide this later on. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's head over to our nav bar here, come down here. And we only want to show this link for sure if the user is logged in and authenticated. So I'm going to put it inside of this little guy right here. So I'm just going to copy this dashboard link, paste it in, but instead, let's point it to admin. And this will also be admin. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And um, I think that's probably it. So let's head back over to the website just to make sure that's working. So I'm going to remember, We've got two users. We've got Codemy and we've got Tim. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as Codemy. We're going to make Codemy the admin, right? So that's password one, two, three. Okay, so login successful. We've got this admin link. We click on it, boom, it goes to this page. So first off, we want to make sure you can only see this page if you're logged in. So right now, if I log out and then just go to that page, I can still go to it. So that's the first thing we want to do. So super easy. We've already done this before. We can just use this at login required guy. So if we save this, head back over to the site, hit reload. Now it goes to the login page. Please log in to access this page. So, okay, that's good. So now I'm going to log in as Tim and let's go password one, two, three. And right now Tim can see this link up here. Okay. We can click on it and go to it, but we want to make code me the actual admin. So you see user ID for two, as two for Tim. If I log out, log back in real quick as Codemy, we can see Codemy's user ID is one. So this is kind of a hacky way to do it. And it's not great because you have to know the user ID of the person you want to make the admin. And that's fine, but you know, it's just a little janky, right? But it'll work just fine. So we want to make user ID one admin. Now there may be users with name John Elder. There may be 50 John Elders on our website. So we have to use something that's unique. We need to use a user ID because that's unique. So let's go ahead and make user ID one, the admin. So let me log back out, log back in again as Tim. Tim's ID is, is two. He, Tim can go to the admin page. 
So let's head over to our code. And inside of our admin function here, we can just set an ID equal to current underscore user dot ID. That will return whoever's logged in their ID. Now, if somebody's not logged in, this login required won't let them go to the page anyway. So we can go ahead and do this because anybody that's made it this far has to be logged in. Therefore, they have to have an ID and we can get that with current user ID. So here we just need to do a little logic and you'll do this on any page that you want to restrict access to based on whether or not that person is the admin user ID one. So we would just go if ID equals one, right? And then we just want to do something. So let's return that page else we want to do something else. So maybe we want to put a little mat flash message up or something that says, sorry, you must be the admin to access the admin page, dot, 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 whatever. And then we want to return redirect and let's just go URL four and send them anywhere we want. I'm send them to their dash dashboard or something, right? So, okay, piece of cake. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And that should be all there is to it. Now we come back over here, hit reload. Remember we're logged in as Tim. When we do, sorry, you must be the admin to access the admin page, redirects Tim back to his dashboard. There he is. And that's all there is to it. Now you notice there's still an admin link here. So maybe we want to remove the link completely. So only the admin can see the admin link. So we could do that super easy. Let's head back over to our nav bar. And inside of here where we put this guy, we can just run another if statement, right? So let's go what if current underscore user dot ID equals one, same thing. And then we could just end our if, right? So let's go ahead and save that, head back over here, hit reload and boom, that admin link completely disappears from Tim's nav bar, right? You can still go to it from here, but again, you get redirected back if you're not the admin. So let's log out, log back in as the admin, just to make sure this all works. So password one, two, three, very sophisticated password, login successful, user ID one, John Elder. Hey, look at that. Now there's an admin link up here. We can click on it, boom, it goes to the admin area and we can do whatever we want here. Now, in this video, we're not gonna build this out. I'm just showing you the functionality of how to restrict access to other people. And you know, in the future, we may add some admin type things that we wanna do here. I don't know, accepting or rejecting blog posts or reviewing something or removing people or whatever we wanna do that's admin -y, admin -y type things we could do there. And like I said, we'll get into that in future videos, but that's how you sort of create a hacky little admin area uh, using Flask without the whole Django back in admin area that you know comes with Django. Obviously Flask doesn't have that. But uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.